Now in its ninth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Gentlemen, I don't think you knew it, but I have a son. <laughs> and I found him after all these years. Now, if Hi, Dad. Hey, happy Father's Day. If anybody, that was last week, a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm always late. You know, I never, late. I never had any kids. Yeah. Except yeah. for you. Well, I don't know. I, I'm going to assume most people, it's been a few years, they, they might not remember or, or know who the hell I am. But uh, can I just tell Alex what the story is from my perspective? Sure, go ahead. Okay, you were on KMEL and then you mm -hmm. weren't in San Francisco. And there was a big ad in the pink section. I guess I was about 12 years old mm -hmm. and you were coming to the quake. And so August, we're talking about August 23rd, 1982, right? Mm -hmm. It's been a while. Yeah. And uh, so you had the show, the now, live now what year? What year are you saying this is? 1982. Yeah, 1982 would be about right. And, yeah, and I'm a and I'm a little kid, and uh, I used to listen to you on KMEL, and I always kind of wanted it. Everybody wants it on the act, right? Yeah. And so when you moved to the Quake, I said, you know, I'm going to call him and tell him that uh, he's my dad. And the nice thing that worked how, out for and how old that, were you at this time? Now I'm 13. You were, and, you were 13. Yeah. Okay. And you're doing your show six to ten. Yeah. And I call you up and I say, and I think what I did right was I stuttered a little bit and I was nervous. And I said, uh, a lot of ums and that. And and you were going, What is this about? And I said, My mom says you're my dad. Now <laughs> the, the, the nice thing was you got really kind of nervous. You start doing a little math. But Irene, your producer, said, what year were you born? And I tell her. And she said, okay, he was in Houston. He just got out of the Navy. And when I went down to the studio, she gave me your picture from the Navy. I don't know if you remember that. No. So I, I showed up and I had a picture of you from the Navy. And that's when you really got nervous. But um, so I think I called you for about a month telling you that you were my dad and you were hanging up. And people are going, you should have that kid down there. And you said, he's probably a 40 year old midget. I'm not going to, I'm not going to have him. Yeah. You know, and then yeah. I showed up one day and then you had me on there with and, and uh, you were with 13, a 13 year old midget. Yeah, I was I was 13 and I still had hair. So, oh, I didn't show you. I, I have a terrible haircut, but I uh, remember I had hair when I first came down there to your yeah. studio. Yeah. And then I got alopecia. Yes. You and did. then my my hair all fell out, and that's when you started to think maybe I was your kid because I was thirteen and I was bald at it. But yeah, so that's that. I, that's my memory of how it all happened. And um, some guy put up some uh, old old audios of your show, like the anniversary show from mm -hmm. '83. Yeah, and like Kevin Pollack and the whole cast of Who's Who is on. Yeah. Oh, you, you and I go, I'm you. trying to find my, and then I, I go, who's that girl? And I realized that I guess my testicles hadn't dropped yet. And I sounded a little higher than my sister on your show, but I was an obnoxious little, I didn't realize how, how obnoxious, uh, I was when I was 13, 14. Uh, you were terrific. You were terrific. And everybody used to then think of you as my son. Yeah. Even yeah. though I knew better that it, you couldn't possibly be. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, I called you later. I called you in at the end of the '90s, and I'll tell you yeah. why. I called you on your phone, and I think you still had a phone in the marina, and so you still had your San Francisco number. Yeah, right. And I always so stayed. I, I always stayed listed in the phones. Right, right, right. Yeah, because I uh, I felt that it made me accessible to people, 
And believe it or not, people kind of respected that. They didn't just call me out of a clear blue sky and say, hey, Alex, I wanted to say hello, you know. Right, right. Very right. rarely did that ever happen. And all the time right. I stayed listed, you know. Right, right. Well, I, I used to have people around town who, I guess, because you had the studio audience, they actually mm -hmm. knew what I looked like. So I'd right. be at the store or wherever and people would know me. But later in L.A., way later, I went to a tech show at the LA Convention Center. This is 1999, and mm -hmm. you were doing your tech show then. And all of a sudden, at the LA Convention Center, people were coming, hey, you're Alex's son. And it was years later. So I went home and I called you that night, and I said, hey, this is really weird. But yeah. that's the last time you and I spoke, was about 1999. Wow, that's a long time ago, James. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but, but, uh, but, but I remember, I do remember about the fact that you lost your hair and you were a bald-headed yeah. kid, which, you know, if you look at comic strips, is not unusual. I mean, <laughs> does Charlie Brown have hair? He has just a right, little right. squiggle. Uh, Sluggo, and Nancy Good. and Sluggo, Sluggo right? Ziggy? Uh, huh? Is it, yeah. Ziggy? So, uh, you know, bald-headed kids aren't unusual in comic strips. But in life, uh, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, but, you know, the other thing is, well, you can see how pasty I am. But the other thing that happened to me when I was going to your show, I was 15, mm -hmm. And I got, well, what happened was the sun came up one day and it got my whole family, like a, a white people drive by, like everybody in my, I went to the hospital for three days with the worst sunburn. And I had been calling you every day. And my brother brought me a radio at Kaiser and I heard you going, oh, I wonder what happened to James. So I called you and the doctors, I knew I had a bad sunburn because they were bringing in other doctors to see the blisters and I was, it was terrible. And so the radio's there, and they're doing some tests on me. They don't know I mean, I'm are on Are you hold. part albino or something? I, I think so, yeah. Like, well, who's Pearl's favorite guy, Johnny Winter? I'm like one of the winners, you know, yeah. Jimmy Winter. Yeah. But so I'm at the hospital, and that's your prime demographic. I don't know if you know that, but yeah. the Kaiser people, the, I guess they work at 7 in the morning. So I'm sitting there in the hospital with the radio waiting to go on, and I call you. Pearl was your guest that day. Mm -hmm. And I call up and I say, hey, I'm in the hospital with a sunburn. And and Pearl says, Kaiser, sunburn, take x-rays. And everybody starts laughing. But the, the doctor realizes I'm on the radio. He brings in some nurses. And all of a sudden, they're all listening. And they were, it was all all the comics on your show were saying bad things about Kaiser. Well, you know, I always love Bubbles line about Kaiser. Uh, what was it? Well, actually, he lost us. Lost lost them as a sponsor of his traffic reports. When oh, one, really? One day he said, yes, yeah, so we're brought to you by Kaiser, better known as Doctor Assisted Suicide. <laughs> 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 well, yeah, then every, after that, at the hospital, they were all coming in. This is Alex's son. And uh, and yeah, so now and now I'm paying the price for that sunburn. I think my nose is falling off and all that. But your nose but, is uh, what do you mean your nose is falling? Well, I mean I got you know, Irish people, my my dad told me, my real dad, he said yeah. my grandmother got carved up in her eighties. He got carved up in his seventies. Uh, so he told me I'm gonna have to get my face all carved up. You know, the what do you call it? The skin cancers. And yeah. All that kind. Yeah. But uh, whatever, I don't care. Well, um so what Yeah, so anyway, that was that's my story with you, Alex. And then after that, I, I I had a kid pretty young, you know. I had a kid. Yeah, let's find uh, out what happened since then. Yeah, yeah, because okay. It's how many? It's how many? So, it's how, wait a minute. It's how many years now? Eighty-two? Did you? Forty. It's forty years. Forty Alex. years. How, yeah. How old are you now? I'm fifty-four. Fifty-four. Yeah. When I called you in L.A., you said, "Wait, how old are you?" Oh, that makes me very old. But now I'm as old. Now, as you were when I called you and you know back in '99. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're right. Time marches on. Oh, I'm sorry to hear your friend Shecky, that's your best friend, uh, passed. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was I was listening to your show and you were talking about that. I'm yeah, sorry to hear that. Yeah, you know, it it, 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 it it's been hard for me. I bet. Yeah, I, yeah. You know, uh, uh, and I it's it's the worst. Uh, I told somebody the other day. It's maybe the worst death I've had to deal with, even including my father's at fifty nine. Right. And this really bothered me because I mean this this guy was sixty seven. I I had just weeks earlier, he talked about a will he had, and you know, and I was in it, and whatever. And I said, well, right. thank you. That's very much and very nice of you. But uh, you know, you're gonna outlive me. I'm eighty three. Right. You're sixty seven. 
uh, uh, just promise me you'll talk at my memorial, right? Right. And right. that was like two weeks before he died. <laughs> right. You know, right. Uh, and and so the last thing I expected was that. You know, right, that right. Just, that just wasn't in the cards. Right, he right, right. He had some right. medical issues that I knew about. But so therefore, when it happens like that, and it's somebody who's that close to me, I knew him for 45 years, it just, the impact is unbelievably unrelenting, you know? So, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I get it. I get it. My dad died two years ago, right about now. Uh, he lived 88 years, eight months and eight days. And the night before he died, I was sitting, he was two, two floors below me here in San Francisco. And uh, I went in to see him. And then all of a sudden he got up and he looked like he was going to get sick. Mm -hmm. He said he didn't feel well. So we got him on the phone with the advice nurse. And she gave him whatever advice she get. So the next morning he died and I called the advice nurse back and I says, hey, what's your batting average this week? It just went down. But anyway, yeah, the good thing about it was it wasn't like a long period. Of, yeah, know, but there's also stuff. one other factor. He was 88. So it was yeah, something exactly. you expected was going to happen eventually. Right, you know? right, right, right. Like I'm at that age where every day I wake up and I go, well, I guess I'm still alive. You know, right. I mean, right. you just it, it but. But when somebody's 67, yeah. and you expect that they're going to be sure. here long after you're gone, you know, he's sure. going gonna to be mourning me, not the other way around. When sure. that happens, you really get impacted by it, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that yeah. is. That so is anyway, true. so what, what happened once you, uh, once you left being my son? Okay, so I left uh, being your son, yeah, and yeah. now I'm down at UC Santa Cruz, and my girlfriend, who happens to still be my girlfriend, she's upstairs. Uh, wait a minute, she, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on. How old were yeah. you then? How old were you when she I was 20. This is Wait a minute, so she's yeah. been your girlfriend for about 44 years? I mean, 24 no, years. way way more complicated than that. We got back together 10 years ago after we raised the kid. So two oh, houses. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Well, I think we're <laughs> jumping ahead here. Yes. So you had a girlfriend. Yes. The same woman that's letting here you now. use her computer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. So you had a girlfriend, and yes. what? She got pregnant. She got pregnant. Okay. And and I'm the youngest of six kids, and nobody had a kid yet. You know, my parents were very Catholic kind of people, so I came back home and I said, "I'm having a." I I actually I had to wait for them to come home and tell them that I knocked up my girlfriend, mm -hmm. and they walked in the door, and I says, "Gee," my dad says, "What are you doing here?" My mom says, "Linda's pregnant," and I said, "Oh." She had an intuition because she had seen her at a wedding the week before mm -hmm. and she was sick. And my mom had enough kids she knew that I had knocked somebody up. Yeah. So it took took the pressure off there. So we raised our daughter. She's now 33. <laughs> and isn't that something? I mean, everybody's time marches on. Yeah. So we we raised her partly in San Francisco, partly in LA. And here's the thing. At your show, when I'm 15, Dana Carvey is sitting there with me, right, mm -hmm. on the show. Uh -huh. And he says, do you do stand-up? And I said, no. He says, you should. And this is something, this is a funny thing. And you were a little that, kid. You were 13 at the time, right? Or yeah, or I was about 15 maybe then. Yeah. But here's the thing. He said, oh, you should. And then he's Dana Carvey. When I'm raising my daughter, I would see Dana on TV, and i go to my daughter, hey, that guy right there, he says I should do stand-up, you know? And my daughter, you should, you should, you know? And... I'm glad I didn't at that time because I had to raise a kid. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, what, so I sold, what I you, sold cars, I sold Mercedes, crap like that. Wait, wait, now wait, 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 I love the way you put that. I sold Mercedes, crap like that. Crap like that. Yeah, that, that was a marketing tool. But uh, so then, what do you mean? It was a marketing somehow, tool. You said to the person you were trying to sell the car to, "Hey, you want to buy a piece of crap?" Yeah, you want to be? Yeah, here we got tons of crap in the back. <laughs> Well, so then I, I, I raise her. Yeah. Then I go, now I want to do stand up. So I write Durst. I, I write, I, I get Durst's uh, email. And I he was always so nice to me, you know? Yeah. He was such a gentleman. And when I would be on your show, of course, there were some comics who were going to be at the punchline that night. And they're going, what's this effing 14 year old on here wasting a mic for? I got a show to plug, you know? But Durst was the guy, the guy was like, here, sit, get over here, kid, step into the mic. And, he was a gentleman, you yeah. know, and so I, I write him a note. He says, 
you're going to get into comedy after 40 or, you know, this is a gag. He wouldn't, you know, he wouldn't believe it. Anyway, he gave me great advice though. He goes, if you're going to do it, here's what you do. And he, he told me what comics do. So I go out to these lowly open mics like right. you do, right? right? You go the lowest place you can find. And, and sure enough, I start running into people from the show back in the day and they're kind of, now I'm 40, I'm still bald and I'm a little crustier. But they're looking and they're going, is that that 15 year old kid, but older? So Al Cleet did, I run into him. Mm -hmm. And then I go to a show one day and, and Steve Pearl's on the bill down in Pacifica. And they, I, I thought to me, Pearl, I mean, you had all these people on. Right. But to me, when I was a kid, I thought Pearl was like, God, I was like, that's what I want to be. That's what be you want to be. Yeah. I wanted to be Steve or Slayton, you know? And, yeah. and, and now all of a sudden I'm at a show with Pearl. Well, it's interesting. It's that interesting that you said those were your two models, and yet they're two entirely different types of comics. They are. They you, are. You yeah. know, yeah. I mean, uh, I I describe Bobby as the last of the Borscht Belt comedians. You know, I mean, yeah. he's got that kind of delivery. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And um, uh, on the other hand, um, Pearl is like a riff master. You know, yeah. he's just top yeah. of his head, boom, 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 just synapses yeah. firing. Yeah. So it's interesting. Well, you know, one, it's one, really be interesting one show with us. Pearl, I mean, there was nine people in the audience, and I go, what are we supposed to do? But Pearl came out, he picked up the mic stand, he went to the front people, he just went wacko. And I always thought about that after that. I go, Pearl showed up like it was a full house where there was nine people yeah. and, and, yeah. and actually destroyed. And I, it was, those are the kinds of things to watch people like that doing stand up. And, yeah. and for me to be a kid and watch through the, through the long term, you know, I see these guys and go, this guy's good, this guy's great. But a lot of people, you know, in the 80s, that, for me at least, that was, mm -hmm. for you, it had to be too. That was a golden era in a way, you know? Yeah. So, so did you finally live out your dream of being a comic? Well, or? well, yeah. I mean, you know what? It's here's the thing. In my dream, I never imagined being at Carnegie Hall or even like the punchline. I kind of imagined in my dream the dreams I would have. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm in a small room, but I'm doing really well in a really small, crappy room. And it's kind of like that well, thing. Hey, you hey, get, hey! Look at me. You, you, you're talking to somebody who's played Carnegie Hall. You yeah, have, yeah, 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 yeah. I played Carnegie yeah. Hall and I played the punchline too. But anyway, yeah, go ahead. yeah. So, oh yeah. yeah. Well, you know what? You did breakfast with Bennett at the punchline. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, was it called the punchline then? Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, it was called the punchline then. And then Wolfgang's. Or what was next? Well, it was next Wolfgang's door to it was a thing called. I think it was called the Waldorf. Waldorf, the old Waldorf. Old the old Waldorf. Waldorf. Old yeah. Waldorf. Old yeah, yeah. War, war, well, you know Waldorf. what? I mean, you had me come be on that show when I was a little kid, and Dick Bright was there. You, I mean, you had those elaborate shows. And actually, for my mute, you know, well, well here's the thing I, I should say. So I, the whole time I wasn't doing comedy, I was doing music. And I guess things come to me easier. With, like, music's got, it's easier than comedy. It's, music is easier than stand up, at least mm -hmm. as far as I'm concerned. So anyway, I was doing music the whole time, uh, but you know my dream is to do uh, do stand up. So then I run into Larry, and uh, I run into a few other people from our old circle, mm -hmm. and they all help me. You know, they go, "There's this kid, but I'm an old man now." Well, he's the know? one that recommended I do this thing with you. you yeah, know? yeah, yeah. And we have we so we have a mutual friend, Larry and I, uh, and. We go out to lunch and then we go over to the Throckmorton and we see whoever's playing over there. Mm -hmm. And so these guys got me on the New Year's show right before the pandemic uh, at the Throckmorton. Mm -hmm. And I show up and everybody, on, Ruben was on mm -hmm. and uh, Rick Overton and, and Pitta and Larry and, and Mort Saul opened the show. Mort Saul was still and alive. And you were on that bill? I was on that bill and I and I want to send it to you because everybody else you recognize and then there's my name standing out is where'd he come from? And uh, so I guess I was supposed to do eight minutes, but the guy didn't give me the light. And I think I did uh, 13 and I'm shitting my pants up there after, you know, 10 mm -hmm. and I'm just pulling crap out of, you know, and I'm, you know, right. and I'm waiting for the, the light. But I think I had, I'll send you the, I'll send you my video from that night. I think I had a good show. And, uh, Anyway, that is 
<clears throat> that's what I wanted to do. Like I, yeah, I, have, are I don't you, think are I'm going to make. Are you still doing it? You know, so I so I take a six month break and I'm doing a, all music. And then at the Throckmorton about two weeks ago, two people didn't show up, and they go, "Oh, the headline." Two people didn't make it, and the one of the guys comes up and he says, "Hey, can you do eight minutes?" And it's been about six months because I've been doing other things. And I looked, and this being my dream, right? And I looked, I said, right now? I said, no. And I, you know, I had about two minutes to go jump up on stage, no notice. And I said, no, which was weird. But but what was I going to do? Go up there and eat shit. I didn't want to do that in front of a, a full house either. So, yeah, right. but yeah, but no, I, you know, I, I, I kind of go I'll back and forth. Yeah, I'll tell you, uh, I, you know, I have nothing but the greatest respect for comedians because that's mm -hmm. that's a rough gig. Yeah, you know, I yeah. mean, I never considered myself a stand-up, and, and yeah, I didn't yeah, want to be. But occasionally, I had to get up on stage at say the Holy City Zoo when there were three people in the audience, <laughs> and that three people in the audience scares the living daylights out of me. I've appeared yeah. when I did my comedy shows at the Frost Amphitheater, I've appeared before 9,000 people and didn't even, you know, sweat right. in the least. Right. Because for some reason, and people say, well, why are you afraid of three people, but you're not afraid of it in 9,000? And I said, because 9,000 people are just this, this mural, you know, right. where three people in the audience, they could jump up on stage and pull you off. You know right, right. I mean? No, I agree it's 100%. Scary. It's very scary. Yeah, you know? yeah. Yeah. And Can you see over my head? I got a plaque right there. I did win. I was in a contest and I won something. Oh, I had to go. It was maybe like 38 people I went up against there, Alex. And I got that little thing next to the guitar back there. Really? It, it said I beat other people and they felt bad and I felt good. Yeah. <laughs> but, but yeah, no, I, I got to tell you, I, I think stand up is at least things I've tried in my life. Mm -hmm. It's it's so hard and it's it's yeah. rewarding but man it is it's i don't think it, well, there's anything hard <laughs> take the hat off a second let's see oh yeah head. yeah yeah well you, you you got the hair back right oh yeah yeah so that's another weird you know with the alopecia it can come and it can go now i started shaving it on your show back in that time mm -hmm. i don't know if you remember that but when i first shaved it i came to your show with a gorilla mask on and you said, kid, take the mask off. And you came over and you pulled the mask off and I was bald and the audience went crazy. But you were like, what the hell is this one? <laughs> you know? And uh, yeah, and but yeah, I, I was bald the whole time then, but now the hair starts coming back. But yeah. I, I, lately I've been throwing a hat on. Uh, quickly, we only got about uh, three minutes left here. But yeah. let, let, me, let me ask you, the girl that you're living with now, or the woman, yes. woman you're living with now. Yes is the woman who had your child many yes. years ago. And yes. So you've been back together at, oh, oh, for the last 10 years. Yes, that is correct. But you never got married. We never got married. Uh, she has two other children that uh, that are also adults now. And so in the interim, she had, she had two more kids, and then they're kind of like people I care about. I don't know what you call them, but they're people I care about. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, and, uh, and they live here too. And so, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's it was it's a happy ending to a. Uh, I, I wouldn't plan. I wouldn't tell people to go out at twenty and knock somebody up. But it it really. When I look back, it turned, I don't, I don't know it turned out okay. It turned out okay. Yeah, it turned out, it turned out okay. fine. That's yeah. terrific. That's really yeah. that's a nice little story. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, 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 and then you were away from each other for how long? Uh, for the whole time raising my daughter, so about, well, we're talking to over 20 years. And know? then 20 years later, you get back together again. We got back together, yeah. And, uh, That's amazing. Yeah, and it's just one of those happy ending, but it was, you know, of course, it's tough to have a kid early. Yeah. You know, or any time, but I guess. Well, you know, yeah. this is really nice catching up with you. In fact, uh, you too. somewhere around here, I have a picture of you. You uh, do? Oh, man. Yeah, yeah man. somebody sent me of you just sitting at the microphone. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, and and you don't look any different. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm about, I'm about the same. Well, I just want to tell you, I appreciate the front seat that you gave me. Mm -hmm. As I mean, they don't, they don't. That's not available in stores. They don't like have a place where you can go no. sit with all these who's who comics like you gave me. Well, uh, it, it was a lot of fun. And yeah. when Bubbles said, "Hey, you should have this guy on. He's actually interesting, you know, and fun." <laughs> And I said, okay, I'll do it. I'll give it a shot. 
Yeah. But, uh, uh, you know, I, I just wonder, always wonder what happened to you. And every now and then somebody will say, what about your son, James? You know? Oh, yeah, and yeah. It was like a running gag on the show. So, yeah, you know, yeah. it's great to see you after all these years. And we'll have to maybe do this again. You know? Yeah, yeah, this no, definitely, really nice. definitely. I mean, so great yeah. to see you. And you keep doing what you're doing. I, I watch you all the time, and I think it's great. Well, as long as I'm still above ground temper, yeah, above uh, room temperature, I, I, I'll keep doing it. But yeah. anyway, hey, listen, uh, stick around so I can just say goodbye to you. But this is James Gleason, ladies and gentlemen. He was James, my son, on the radio show in San Francisco. Very, thanks for having me. Thanks, thanks for still being there and remembering me. You know. Oh man, that's terrific. Okay, thanks. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks, Alex. Bye bye. Now in its ninth year, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Ah, yes, and that is our uh, our son. <laughs> That's our son after all these years, folks. He's our son. Anyway, uh, it's time to talk to our audience and uh, talk to our callers and uh, see who's out there and who wants to uh, catch up with me. Uh, let me see here. i got to do a little adjusting here, though, first, before we go any further. It's just, uh, you know, I just want to... Let me see here. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. And then down a little bit. There we go. And now we're centered and all of that. All right. Let's say uh, let's get our people in here. Admit all. The all is only about three people, but you know who knows. More may call as the evening goes on. Uh, and uh, oh, here comes Alan as well. Okay. And uh, uh, there's uh, catch up with me. Oh boy, uh, let me see. Here. Jeff, no, Phil. I think he killed it. Yeah, I think he killed no, it. No, my. Uh, can you hear me? My video's not on. I, I'll. I'll. That must sign. be that new expensive machine you bought. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let me leave and come back. Okay, he'll Mr. leave and come back. Let me see here. There's uh, there's uh, Alan. There's Charles. Hello, hello. E equals MC squared. That's pretty easy to understand, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And it, e, yeah. En energy equals mass times the speed of light squared, right? Yes, sir. See? Ah, you didn't think Great I physics. was a nuclear physicist, huh? Yeah, but the, look who's got helping him. What? He's using Einstein to do the work. Well. <laughs> yeah. How much of Einstein has been uh, debunked? None. None? Really? None. Because I had heard some of it was questioned, brought into question. It seemed he was right so far. So far. And they I think, yeah, I think they Trump questioned. questioned him. Hmm? What? Trump questioned him. <clears throat> Does Trump Is know that your Trump comment for tonight? Yeah. Yes, thank you. Okay. Uh, well, maybe we'll be lucky and Phil Meyer will join us with more trumpet things. Trumpet? Trumpet, yeah. Trumpet things. <laughs> but <clears throat> it's what my roommate calls a, a small turd in the toilet. Great. I just got, see, Sorry. I, lately I've been trying to not get demonetized by not saying anything dirty on the show. Right? Okay, I'll, and I I'll still watch. get I'll watch. and I still get demonetized. I'll, I'll watch my mouth, but I still get demonetized by those son of a bitches. Ah, oh, see, I didn't, I didn't <laughs> say well, anything. Not, not, now they're going to take that and say, "Yep, you're, you're no no money for you this week." No money for you this week, right? Yeah, no, they uh, they uh, they did me. Uh, let me see here. They did uh, about three times last week, and all the shows were clean. I think what you ought to do is charge all your people, like the three of us and whoever else comes in, five dollars a month, something like that. Yeah. And uh, that way, when you get demonetized, at least you'll get something. Something. Yeah. Yeah. Something. Yeah. Anyway, so how are you all doing? Yeah. I'm good. I'm good. Pretty good. I'm tired. 
I'm tired too. I've been tired all the time. Smoke for Alex. Heat for uh, heat. Yeah, for well, we haven't I mean, got we haven't gotten the smoke yet. We're supposed to get it tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Look, oh, Chicago it's... and Cleveland are socked in with yeah. smoke. So. Yeah, hey, yeah. Yep. But uh, you know, I've been. Uh, I took a walk today. You know, and I'm losing. I, I, I. It's not as easy as it once was. I think it's my feet actually from the neuropathy. You know what I'm talking about, right, Charlie? Sure do. You know, it just seems my feet are weak. It's not the legs; it's the feet. So you know, it, it's eh, what what the hell? And then I'm then I'm, I also take this drug, this pregabalin, which uh, do you take gabapentin uh, at all, Charlie? No, I took it for about ten years, but then my nerves completely died, so they took me off it. They yeah. anything to do? Yeah, you didn't need it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, I'm taking the gabapentin, and I'm sorry, I'm always lightheaded until about until about maybe seven o'clock at night when the pill I take at night wears off. Ah, ah, you see. So I don't know, but uh, I just I just want to be able to walk like I used to. I used to go for huge, gigantic walks, but mm. I've been trying a mile every day. So, you know, that's but, pretty good. That's yeah. some, that's something, you know. It's something. Yeah. So I wonder what happened to Phil. I guess it's that new whole new expensive machine yeah. that isn't working, huh? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> oh boy. Well, I bought the cheaper one. Never gives me any trouble. So. <laughs> you had the one up. You. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And now there's a newer one, right? Oh yeah, there's a new one coming. Uh, there's a new one out already. The the uh, M three. Oh, chip here, here he comes. Out. Let's see here. How, how many want how, any bets on whether we get a picture out of out of Phil or not? <laughs> Let's see here. No, no we'll see here. We'll see. There we go. Oh, there we go. Huh. Okay. What was, what, was your, what was your problem, Phil? Um, I tried to put a video in as my background, and uh, it, it didn't work. You can't put a video in as your background. Well, yeah, it says add video. Oh, oh I can. Oh, yeah, I can. I do. I used to do it. In fact, uh, um, I you know I, I do have some animated backgrounds, but you probably weren't using the right kind of animation. No, it was. Uh, uh, yeah, I wasn't using the processor. Anything. Wasn't fast enough. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think that was the problem. It's just that uh, I didn't know what I was doing, and uh, I don't know anything about video. So, okay. Yeah. Nothing yeah. about birthing no babies. <laughs> Butterfly. <laughs> where, where did that come from? Butterfly McQueen. I don't know nothing yeah. about videos. I don't know nothing about birthing no babies. That was her only line in the movie. No, that wasn't her only line in the movie. Yeah. I think that was her only line. And she was a superb actress, by the way, I might add. Yeah. yeah. It was a Butterfly McQueen? Yes, Butterfly McQueen. Yeah. 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 Nice. Yes. Pete McQueen's daughter? I don't know what. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I mean, his mother, you, you know, I know you said the the comedian and the kid that was on your show uh, was your son, but his last name's Gleason. Maybe he was Jackie Gleason's son. <laughs> don't laugh at that. Don't laugh at that. Charlie, I shame the same on you. thing, actually. <laughs> <laughs> How sweet it is. <laughs> I mean, he, if he's going to be your own son, you should have at least changed his na last name to Schwarzman or Bennett or something like that. Nobody can spell it. <laughs> do you remember? Do you remember my? Do you remember him on the show? No, I no. Oh, okay. He became a big deal. I only really participated when you were a camel, and maybe to this day, part, I get asked about a lot of people from time to time. But I will get asked about James. Huh. Whatever happened to your son James? You know. So yeah. no, it was a good. It was a good running. Nobody game. asked. What about your friend Phil? <laughs> Nobody remembers. Him. I don't remember Phil. What do you mean? How are they supposed you to? You know. But uh, so anyway. So and they say senility is bad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Marjorie and I today. Yeah, we we. We, we watch these things. We got this guy here in New York, and his name is Cash Jordan. If you go on to YouTube and look up Cash Jordan, are you familiar with him? Uh, anybody familiar with him? I thought I, uh, yeah. What's his shtick? 
What's his shtick? He he goes and does shows uh, uh, apartments in New York that are for oh, rent. Oh, how much do you pay for rent? And then he goes in and he jumps on the bed and they get a tour of the apartment. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah, he's very funny. You know, uh, but also what we've gotten into now that we're into those apartments, we go to the complete opposite end. And there's this guy with him, Enes, and I can't remember his last name. It's unpronounceable. He's Turkish. Right. And he uh, he goes around the world and shows the most expensive homes. And, huh. man, some of these places, my God. So you know. when is he going to visit your place? Uh, but, well, yeah, right, <laughs> right. Excuse me, we had to throw the clothes under the uh, bed. <laughs> Uh, since you were coming over to visit. Oh, you had a bed? <laughs> yeah. But uh, we watch, you know, we get a big kick out of watching these homes. We like to watch the New York ones because we get to see what, where people are paying like $4,000 a month rent for one-tenth of what we have. Okay. Yeah. And then we like watching this other stuff that unless I win the, uh, the lottery, I'm never going to be able to buy. Did you see the one where the girl lives in an 80-square-foot apartment? Yeah, in New York? well, that, that's where we started yeah. with him. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, it's interesting what people make do with in New York City. Mm -hmm. And some of it is fairly inventive. I mean, yeah. there were a couple where people had done stuff where stuff came down off the side of the wall and things like that in order to make a 80-square-foot apartment usable. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I'm amazed at how many of these apartments are we seeing now that have built-in washing machines. That's the big new thing in New York City. Mm. Apartment, wow. they'll take a closet and turn it into two washing machines. Yeah. You know, just to have washing machines in the apartment. Wasn't that a big deal in West Side Story uh, play and movie also? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Maria sings a, has a song in there about wanting yeah. a washer and dryer. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, you got anything you want to talk about tonight? Not particularly, no. I I, I just want to get this over with and go to sleep. Well, yeah. I, I, don't, know, I don't know how controversial you want to get. I I heard this thing this morning about um, Roseanne Barr. Yeah, I uh, did too. Yeah, her her lady. Yeah. She decided to double down on nobody wanting to have anything to do with her. Well, you know. Uh, you know she also pointed out how the media takes these clips and makes a story uh, out of context that, that isn't true. And what she said, I heard the whole thing in context. And um, well, what you know, what well, she said was. Uh, well, let me tell you, tell you what I heard uh, that she said. She just uh, put down Jews. That was it. Now, how she can do that, I don't know, because Roseanne happens to be Jewish. Jewish, yeah. You know. Right. Uh, uh, she. Then again, we could sound, say she knows better than anybody. <laughs> they, they made it sound like she was a Holocaust denier. And really what she was talking about in a very sarcastic way uh, was that uh, she said, you know, like she, the way she would say it, like Biden got 81 million votes. Uh, she was being sarcastic. She, she said it was, you know, it was reported that he got 81 million votes. And he said, she says that that's like saying nobody died in the Holocaust. Uh, you know, she says uh, people blame the Jews and say if 6 million Jews died, uh, that would solve the world's problems. And, and then she said she was talking about how people believe things that aren't true. And she was being sarcastic. And she was definitely taken out of context because I saw the video. Okay. Uh, it was well, on T a TMZ. It, it's the first video or newscast you've seen in five years. Well, I, hey, I, I decided not to get challenged. So, you know. Right. I, Very good. Very good. <laughs> you know. Very but, good. Um, so, sh so she was saying uh, that you can't question things. Uh, she, you know, she, she says that, that if you question that the election was rigged, uh, uh, all right, you know, you would be taken off Twitter, you would be taken off Facebook, you would be taken off. Oh, YouTube. there are things here now on YouTube I cannot talk about. Right. If yeah. I talk no, I about them, I could get a big ding put against now, me. Now she said, and I won't even, and I won't even say it and say, well, here's an example of what I can't say because if I say that, 
their algorithms will then find that one statement, take it out, and then, you know. Well, I, I won't get you in trouble, but she, she said uh, that you can't say the C word, you know, it starts with C and ends in D, and it was a, uh, uh, that it started, she says, if you say it, it started in D, in I don't know. Wait a minute, C and ends in D? Yeah, it's a, it's a it's a terrible flu that everybody had for three years. Oh, COVID. Well, I wasn't going to say it. <laughs> so I didn't want to get you in trouble. <laughs> so, well, uh, uh, you know, she says if, if you said that, you know, that uh, this disease started in a lab in Wuhan, they would hold on, think, hold, hold on a second. What's this? It's this. Echo, stop. <laughs> for some reason, enough. it decided to just start talking at me. Oh, what were you going to say, Charlie? She said one more thing that was controversial, and, and let's take it. Uh, she said, people say Jews control Hollywood. But she, but this was funny. She says, if the Jews didn't control Hollywood, all you'd have is fishing shows. And, uh, <laughs> you know. And, and she that's goes, funny. Oh, that's that's funny. funny. Yeah. yeah and, and Roseanne Barr huh. is funny. And what she did, she was taken out of context, and they made her a pariah in the last day. That, you know, if you look at almost every uh, newscast, now, I, I don't like Holocaust denier deniers, you know, I, I, I don't like Nazis and, and, you know, and that kind of well, stuff. I'm glad you're, you're against Nazis. <laughs> then how, uh, do, how do you equate that with being uh, liking Trump? Trump? <laughs> uh, you know, um, I, okay, I, Charlie I, has his I'll hand up. say that the 80,000 IRS, IRS agents that Biden wants is the same thing as the brown shirts that the Nazis used. But uh, she, she mm -hmm. also said that she goes on to say that Hollywood Jews don't like Jews like her because she speaks out and tells the truth. So anyway, that uh, was the topic that I thought was interesting how... Uh, the media is take there's very few yeah. outlets that are reporting okay. this honestly okay charlie, uh, let, charlie got, got his hand up and i don't want you know he has yeah, it'll fall has off diabetes and the air might fall off yeah. if it sits up there too long yes uh, uh i just want to point out the phil that nobody is saying you can't question anything what we're saying is when you question something and then it's looked into and found not to be true you can't keep questioning it after that you have to accept facts. Yeah, I, I think, though, that what Phil was bringing up here is one of my gripes is like YouTube. Um, uh, while I don't think I would believe and say anything that they would be upset with, in spite of the fact that they were upset with something because somebody quoted somebody else on my show, and then they said their algorithm said, and also they let me know this two years later. Yeah, you know, totally. they let me know two years later. Uh, but... Uh, that that there is a uh, a certain silence you have to have about certain topics. Otherwise, you will not be allowed to stay on uh, on on YouTube. Uh, right. And I especially found that while I was against anybody who denied how dangerous uh, COVID was, uh, I think that it was open for discussion even by those people who didn't believe in the, you know, what it was all about. Right. Uh, and I don't think that if you're going to have an open forum, as YouTube is, a kind of uh, electronic Hyde Park, um, that you should stop anybody from saying anything unless it is harmful to other people. In other words, it causes harm. Uh, and then I think you can then say, hey, you can't say that, all right? But be beyond that, I mean, when you have something like COVID, it, it was, I mean, I thought that the people who were deniers of COVID were hurting people and killing people by their actions. And I thought that was terrible, just terrible. And uh, I, I do not like people who are, uh, well, Holocaust deniers. But I'm not going to stop them from saying it. I don't think it should be stopped from being said. It's it's a belief certain people hold to, even though they're morons to hold to it, you know. Uh, but but I don't like the fact that YouTube, which would like you to think that they are a bastion of free speech, or Twitter, which they'd like you to think is a bastion of free speech. Well, you can say anything you want to accept. Well, I'm sorry, that's not free speech. Um, 
And I feel that I'm, I'm walking on eggshells here because I got a warning based on something that wasn't even said on my program. When they went back and listened to it, they held up the warning because they didn't listen to everything that went before it and after it. And everything is context, you know? And in that case, it was context because somebody was saying something about, uh, about somebody who said something about COVID and it was on Fox and how horrible Fox was to say it. But they only took the quote and that's the thing they ding me on. And, right. and I can't go, I, I've tried to have recourse on it. I asked for them to go back and look at it. They looked at it and said, it still holds. Well, they only, they went to the algorithm, algorithm which spit back the statement. Okay, right. not what went on before it and after it. And there's no way for me to, to dispute it. They say, your disputes on this matter are no longer available. What? You know, I'm thinking of starting accounts in about 10 different names and then doing some <laughs> things that just drive them crazy. Yes. Uh, They'll never be monetized. So, so, so Facebook, <clears throat> Two and a half. I posted something two and a half years ago, and about three months ago, <clears throat> or four months ago, something like that. They said uh, it goes against their policy, and if you accept this, say yes. If you don't, say no. And I said, well, no, it was something real stupid, and uh, you know. So they said, fine. So your account's gone. Goodbye, and that was it. <laughs> like that, and I and I and I went, you know, my 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 uh facebook account got compromised twice in that month and so i i didn't fight that because i just didn't give a shit anymore so are you on facebook anymore i, I only with uh, we have a family account only family no friends no nothing just family members here in chicago and in europe and blah 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 but it's it's family only so i can see like I can go on on your page and look, without much problem, Alex, and see what's going on. That's how I watch Shecky's uh, memorial. But but in any case, um, yeah, I I, I I was thinking about restarting another one and and under. Uh, well, I'm so mad at at at, uh, at YouTube, for instance, that I would like to stop using them. But what else do I use? What has the reach that YouTube has? And so therefore, so. I'm kind of grab. I'm I'm kind of caught by the balls here, when it comes to something like uh, like YouTube, you know. And you know what they're they're saying uh, things like um, uh, Instagram, that mm -hmm. uh, and that you know they're being used for uh, pedophiles, and uh, and you know and they don't take that down. Uh, this is some of the claims. Uh, I guess there are some groups that sell uh, <clears throat> um, uh, uh, pictures and so forth. I've uh, never seen that. Well, I, I don't look at that stuff either, but uh, it, it has been reported. Bill is on Twitter to find his porn, yeah. not, not Instagram. Twitter's the same way, though, in reality. I, I have a Twitter account, and sometimes things pop up, and it's way underage stuff why don't they get that stuff off i'm not even looking for porn and things will just pop up and i'm like this is bullshit i turn it in and they don't do anything by the way hello <laughs> to brian neary who has joined us from i think you're down in la somewhere Marianne. yeah san diego san diego that, uh, the oh, marina the mexican border behind you yeah that's uh downtown san diego oh. downtown san diego Okay. Are the migrants coming over? <laughs> yeah, they'll have Trump flags. <laughs> That's why they don't want them here. Yeah, yeah. Um, but anyway, um, uh, hello, Brian. Oh, by, by the way, Brian, you're uh, absolutely right. Uh, I uh, We had a little thing today, and I said, you know, Marjorie kept saying, we're in the last chapter of our life. And I said, you know what comes after the last chapter? And then I said the table of contents. Yeah. Actually, that's in the beginning it, I should have said I should have said either the index or the bibliography somebody else suggested. Yeah. So. The epilogue. <laughs> I'm I'm glad you read my comment. Yeah. I always miss you guys when you're out there, but uh, yeah, yeah. But, uh, we thought maybe you were hanging out with Trump. Your picture, your face. Is uh, I I didn't get a good yeah. video of it today, but over in the they have a pond right near where we were doing our video. 
and uh, there were some Canadian geese in the pond, little ma that mama and their little ducklings and the uh, daddy, you know. They're all getting a little big now. They're growing up and, and so on. Hi. 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 Yeah. Anyway, and <laughs> and uh, all of a sudden I noticed that one of the one of the geese is just going meh, meh, quack, 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 quack. He's complaining like crazy and we look over and some dog had jumped yeah. into the pond and was chasing the geese. <laughs> it was wonderful. Wonderful to see. The geese were better than he was, so they just flew away. Well, we have the soccer fields across the street from our house, and there's a bunch of geese that land there, and they're eating there all the time. And it says no dogs, but the neighbors still bring their dogs, and the dogs are chasing all the geese around. Yeah. But yeah, so we're here at San Diego for her uh, national honors. So, uh, yeah, so she performed today. She had classes yesterday and today, and then she performed today for the... For her Look at all the makeup on her eyes. It looks so yeah. good. Oh, yeah, she's... Oh, yeah, oh, wow. God, she looks yeah. like she's about 15. Yeah. She did awesome, and there's a lot of competition, uh, like Utah, Arizona, all over. So it's, it's really impressive. They did a really good job. Well, good. Congratulations, Adrian. Yeah. Did you win first place? Uh, the awards are at ten o'clock, so so I'll I'll, uh, I'll call in the show then. Yeah. <laughs> well, if she does, if she doesn't win, uh, uh, just declare that uh, you know the election was stolen. <laughs> yeah, I'll yeah. tell everybody it's rigged. It's rigged. Yeah. 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 What do you got to pay all three? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So anyway, so anyway, so you're sitting out on the. Um, on the veranda or the balcony yeah the five foot balcony yeah 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 it's nice down here but it's uh i mean i think everywhere just so expensive to travel even though we drove but it's you know the food and everything's just crazy crazy expensive that's a pretty nice patio you're on for a motel six that's a uh, this is, this is, this is sheridan actually it's really nice though so. yeah uh, you know you could go to tijuana in about a half hour and uh, the, uh, the cartels have uh, <laughs> subsidized buffets. So, uh, you know, you can eat a lot cheaper in Tijuana. You know? Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. No we'll hit that on the way home. Yeah, yeah really. <laughs> he's probably not got a, he's probably got a very expensive car with him. And then five minutes flat, you know, the, the only thing that would be left is the rims in Mexico. Phil, Phil always thinks about others. Yeah. It's funny because we've seen a couple of cars from Mexico that are like different cars that we see in the U.S. So it's, it's pretty neat. Who are Volkswagen bugs and things? Uh, like MG was an MG. Oh, yeah, because yeah, MG oh, produced in Mexico, and mm. and then there's like some kind of minivan is pretty neat. But yeah, totally you know, when I was when I was a kid and we were all starting to buy cars and stuff, that was the sports car every every kid wanted was an MG. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I, that's that's what I had in high school. An really? MGA, See? 1960. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, but what, MG, what did what did MG stand for? Morris Garage. Very good. But wow. MG, the name was bought by a Chinese company, and the MG is now being made in China. Oh, uh, here we go, racist Ooh, joke here. Go yeah, ahead. Yeah, uh, Tony's gonna jump in. Come on. I ordered Chinese food tonight. <laughs> sure. uh, not a joke. <laughs> Oh, and the airport's right there. Uh, the airport's right. The airport's right here, and downtown's right there. So there goes another airplane. Bye. Yeah, you know the you know the fun thing about the airport in San Diego is it flies when they're landing. They come in right between downtown the buildings. It is. I'm waiting for one to crash into one of the downtown buildings. Yeah, right, we, we we took a corner, and all of a sudden there's a plane like coming right at us. It's yeah, the, 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 but, the street the that way. my father used to live down there, the street that runs right at the end of the landing or whatever is called Laurel. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Still there. And and it is scary. You can almost reach out and touch the wheels of the landing you're coming down. It's a hmm. pretty scary street. Hmm. Well, the only the only major accident they had was a, a, a <clears throat> 1970 something or nineteen eighty something, a PSA. 727 hit a Cessna in 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 route to uh and they went down well there was nothing left of the Cessna the I would imagine by the way speaking of uh, of uh damage uh did you see, anybody see the pictures of the uh 
of the uh, uh, what do you call it of the um, submersible oh, the the they brought, they brought, they oh. brought it up to the surface they actually brought yeah. some up huh okay yeah they brought Ooh, them up left? Huh? Wow, i have to look at that instead of getting on oh, the were, it, it was the size of a cigar uh, no no that when it imploded i mean all the stuff there were the panels from the side of it and things like that you know i don't know if they got all of it because it may have been spread over a larger area than they were you know checking out but they got it you know they got the stuff i mean that's amazing i guess mm -hmm. they just go down there with some kind of hook or something and just bring the stuff up I, I didn't realize they had it up i heard that they found parts and maybe body parts too no they i don't think they found body parts no i okay. i think it, an implosion it, like that there's probably nothing left of those people the, the interesting <laughs> thing is if the if the material that they bring up if they can test it they, which of course they will if there's explosive material on there, which sometimes happens. Maybe one of the people that it, that got on board with them brought a bomb with them. No. So maybe it wasn't an. Well, where did you hear that oh, one? You're, oh, you're, oh, God, what on is Fox that? News today? Fox? Yes, it was on Fox News. <laughs> Since somebody might have brought a bomb. It may not have imploded. It may have exploded. And why would they do well, that? I, yeah. I don't know. Ask By the way, I, tonight I was watching a thing uh, that National <laughs> Geographic had on going back to the Titanic, and it was about one of those expeditions in a submersible. And when you compare this submersible okay. to that one, yeah, it's the difference between night and day. Yeah, oh, so it's totally yeah. It's starting out with like a two-inch titanium hull. Yeah. Wasn't, All right, uh, Cameron's uh, tethered to the <laughs> surface. What? I thought Cameron's submersible was tethered to the surface. Not that I know. Of. It wasn't a free-going thing. It had a cable. He didn't take passengers. He was there no, alone. Was one person. Yeah. He goes down by himself. This guy went down by himself too, but there were seats for two. And then the second time they went down, there were two of them in there. But I mean, all the electronics and everything else. You know, I mean. It was um, different. Yeah, just like night and day between that it'd be like, and the, it's 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 kind of like uh, uh you know kids who have these uh, phony cars with little pedals on them you know to make yeah, them go <laughs> and 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 an actual car i mean that's the difference um it, it was insane it was insane this thing was even ever let to go down there yeah. you know and supposedly the guy who owned the company didn't want anybody to tell him that it wasn't going to work you know it's uh, it, that's what would happen if Trump took you down in the yeah, halfway down to half ass machine. Yeah, they knew we were gonna do five hundred grand to blow up. I mean, come on. <laughs> I mean, he still flies his own plane. Oh, yeah, he, no, he doesn't he's fly it. Uh, he's not in the pilot seat, but he bought a plane for Trump Airlines, and that's the one he's uh, uh, transports himself in. I yeah. wonder whether that was one of the Trump airline planes. That's so has his uh, uh, name on the his side. name on the side? Yeah, well, he has his name on the side of everything. There was a guy. We went to SeaWorld uh, yesterday, and there was a guy in the audience across from us had a had the red hat thingy. Oh my god! I just wow, oh, that takes nerve. Really? Yeah. Red hat thingy. Bill, do you wear your do you wear your Make America Great Again hat out? Oh, in public? that hat! I thought you were. Talking do you wear that in public, Shriners. Phil? Do you wear that? In no, public? not in his neighborhood. He'd be shot. <laughs> That's definitely in the house. Do you wear that That's in public? I in public? Yeah. No, no. yeah. I, I wore it in public once back uh, when Trump started running in sixteen. Mm -hmm. I went to a uh, Oakland Raiders oh. game. And uh, I got some pretty strange looks. I didn't wear you it. Wear it. The <laughs> that's you wouldn't wear it outside. I now. think that's the kind of hat. Put it on again. The bulls. That's the kind of hat that people would wear if they were voting for Elmer Fudd. Right. <laughs> he kind of looks like Elmer Fudd. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. So anyway, uh, what else is happening in the news? There's nothing else <laughs> happening. And, well, uh, I, you feel, they feel mine's real. You're what? My background. Well, well, nice mine was real too. I took the picture. <laughs> it is not real now. 
Not now, but it yeah. was when I took the picture. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. What are you, what are you pushing your daughter away for? Now, what kind of father are you? you know, I pushed her off the balcony. It's okay, don't worry. So, <laughs> what is that, Tabasco sauce? Is that is that Tabasco sauce? It's fingernail polish. Yeah, it's a little Tabasco sauce thingy. Oh, from the you know from the they have like food downstairs and so she wants to drink it and I said not before <laughs> awards you're gonna throw up all over the stage. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't try that, Adrian. It's Thank it's you, uh, it's a little on the hot side. I like it in my I like it in scrambled eggs. I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I tell her no, and she thinks no is like for negotiation. And I said, no, no means no. It's not negotiation. You tell her you're doing it for her own good. Oh, wait a minute. That never works either, does it? No. What yeah. was the Dr. Seuss with the eggs and ham? <laughs> Green eggs, eggs and, and ham. ham, yeah. But, yeah. no, so proud of her, though. She, she's, she's awesome. So, so happy. And she had a recital on Saturday. They had a recital. So there's, like, four other songs that I haven't seen before that they do. Uh, that they've been learning this last six months. Is this so, singing or dancing? Dancing. But they had like a lyrical song. So lyrical song is like, it was Adele, Adele, one of Adele songs. Mm -hmm. And there's like six of the girls in really nice dresses, you know, flowing dresses, and they do it. And she had a big part of it and, you know, a couple of other girls. So it's, it's, it's yeah, it was really, really, really fun. You know, we have time. Let her do it on the show. Yeah, I'll we'll hop over <laughs> the stage there. Yeah. <laughs> So when's the when's the awards tonight? Ten o'clock. Yeah, in uh, another wait, hour and a half. Wait a minute. Ten o'clock. Yeah. Are all the, I, uh, wait, and are all the people involved in the performances her age? Yeah, it's twelve and under is twelve is and under, stuff. and they're keeping them up till ten o'clock at night. Yeah, because it's national, so it's like a special, big special thing. So you Can know, we like, vote? Can we vote? We've got an hour and a half. Let's all get votes in. I mean, no, what, what but I am going to yell. It's rigged. What time does Adrian normally go to sleep? The kids oh, they're they're so hyped up. They they won't go to sleep tonight for a while. No. But then they then they have to see, <laughs> deal with this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but then they have a uh, then they have class tomorrow at eight o'clock. In the morning for a couple hours so yeah they keep them really busy i i, I don't know how they learn all this stuff now school. Wow. they 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 had a so she had three classes today. well she went to two classes today and those classes are for like an hour and something and they all learn a new dance like jazz then they did contemporary and then you know so like, i know because you were in the class but but then they do so tomorrow she'll have three other classes in the in the morning that they learn a whole new dance and it's like crazy how much they learn so. yeah hey wow. it sounds like my high school career i was lucky if i went to two classes a week <laughs> yeah yeah and it shows. But, um, um. <laughs> but anyway anybody seen any good movies lately oh i saw the flash last week at the movie theater well, how was it i liked it i wasn't great but me and my brother liked it it was it was good yeah it's, going not, to see it's, not, it's not doing very good business I know they seem like they're boycotting it because of the, the Flash actor, which I like him as an actor. No, but that's, I it's not a boycott. It. It's just it's not doing good business. Oh, really? okay. I, I enjoyed it. I, I liked it. I Did mean, you get in at, at the cheap rate, the Italian rate, five dollars or something into the movie. I Would haven't you? been to a movie since COVID. I went to a movie a couple of weeks ago. Where did, where did we go? Oh, I went to see uh, Asteroid oh, City. Oh, you saw? Oh, you saw Asteroids? That's right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to see Indy Friday at seven, so me and my brother, so we're excited for that. I see every one of those things. It'll be on. It'll be on Disney Plus, and within a month or so, you know. So I can hey, wait. I got an email today. Oh, Jeff wants to say something. Mm, yes, Jeff. Turn oh, on you don't say things. so. You're you're muted, Jeff. Muted, Jeff. Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah. Um, I, my wife and I, took a bike ride, the other day, mm -hmm. and I think we did. Six miles? Oh, God. In yeah. Connecticut? In Connecticut. Oh, my God. You drove completely around the state. <laughs> <laughs> Was it hot? Was it hot outside? No. 
You know, it was nice. Really? It was reasonable. It was hot, but they had lots of trees and covering it up. Yeah. And what, and what did you do? Did you do paths or did you do roads? No, it's a, it's a pre-designed road for people to Those are called highways. Those are called highways. Walking or running. Yeah. Promenade. Oh, so it's meant for that. Yeah. 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 And it's like it's like right next to um, a little uh, water that goes right by there. So really, yeah. Yeah, I guess it was a canal at one time. Yeah, we got uh, bikes in our neighborhood, but they put they ride them on <clears throat> the sidewalks. That's not right. Mm -hmm. it, which is not that, right. that way they can run over people, huh? Yeah. That, oh well, they they, they don't care. They don't. They care. still I'll have. I'll tell those... you what it is. Today was the last. They say two days. Maybe yesterday and today, or today <laughs> and tomorrow. There, all these people on the, what we call Little Africa, which is the street right up from us here, uh, which has a lot of people from uh, uh, Africa. And they were all wearing the dashikis, you know, the complete African garb. And it's because it's a holiday. Really? Yeah, yeah it's like, I don't know, prayer days or something like that. I can't remember what Marjorie, what they told Marjorie. And they were all dressed up, man. It was really festive. Little Africa. If that doesn't sound racist, I don't know well, what Well, no, does. but I mean, we had Little Italy. Come on. Yeah, I know. That's not <laughs> racist, is it? I got an email today. Yeah. And the email said that my Paramount Plus was going up to eleven ninety nine. What does this got to do with what we were talking about? Time. Mm -hmm. that, so that they're raising the price and they're giving you showtime. Well, I didn't watch Showtime, and so I went to Apple, the whole thing. where I had the subscription, and I canceled it, and then I saw that I was paying six or seven bucks for uh, another subscription that I never even tuned into. Canceled that. What 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 was it to? Uh, M M MGM. Oh, the MGM, yeah, was? MGM, I think. Yeah. You actually pay attention to what you pay for? No, I I, <laughs> I, I discovered it. Apparently not. No, no, I, I, I mean it seriously. I mean, some of the talks we have about stuff that he buys and stuff like that. I mean, like five or six dollars a month. Who cares? Well, I, I just, <laughs> I'm getting subscriptioned to death. Everything's a subscription. That's yeah. true. It's a subscription. Yeah. MS, uh, my uh, Microsoft is a subscription. Yeah. Everything's a subscription nowadays, and I'm just tired of getting worked. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Well, I credit agree, cards I that all the subscriptions you. are on. Hmm? Well, you, could, you could do that like answer. Yeah. I have this problem. Well, I get over. What? I get something that I want to watch because it's like an old movie. Right. And I put it on and I figure it's blank, you know, it's old. It's uh -huh. like Fifty years old. First thing I know is it says you owe us uh eight dollars. <laughs> this is it's my ass. So now you try to stop it. Right. There's no stop button. No. Well, uh, I go to you next, Tony. Paramount Plus, which I have had, and then they added Showtime, which because I pulled the cord on everything. Yeah. I figured I'd get the Showtime plus with the Paramount Plus. And they only were going to charge me like $110 a year for that. So I said, okay, you know, fine. Uh, but, um, you know, I mean, there are just too many of these things. And they're all starting to have trouble because, see, here's what you can do. You can say, okay, I, there's some kind of show coming on. I want to watch uh, The Last of Us. So you subscribe to uh, to so you wait for it to play Wild. itself out and then you then subscribe to it and then you uh, watch what you wanted to binge watch and then you cancel it so at the end of the month it cancels so really you, you can you can bounce back and forth between them it's just a lot of people find that a pain in the ass yeah. to do yeah. that I don't okay. even you know I think I must have watched something and that's how I got that MGM thing uh, uh, and thinking that it was free, and then all of a sudden, six months later, I'm still getting billed for it. Yeah. 
and it's in my Amazon thing. So, so you, I know you got to do this right. Be very careful. Right. Listen, everybody who's listening to me, be, be, be very careful. If you have a like Roku, they'll want you to subscribe to MGM Plus because they get the credit for it and then they make money off of you subscribing to MGM Plus. Sign on to something like MGM Plus through MGM Plus. Okay, do not go through Amazon, do not go through uh, 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 any of these other companies like, like Roku and so on who are offering it up because quite frankly, why should they make the money? Why shouldn't the company that's supplying the service get all the money? Am I being... It's in there being a portal and they're providing a service too uh, by uh, being a conduit. But they will do it. They will say like, oh, I want to watch uh, such and such. And they'll say, okay, well, click here. Well, you click there. Now you have subscribed twice right. yeah. to HBO Max or yeah. Max as it's called now. And, and don't do it. Just, you know, be very careful. Otherwise, you're going to be subscribing twice to Showtime or twice to, you know, mm -hmm. whatever. Uh, and and uh, they, because it doesn't say, oh, whoops, you've already got an account there. We can't sell it to you. Life is so complicated for all that. I I watch three things. I have I have uh, I have Amazon Prime, which I use their delivery service all the time. Yeah, so I right, get that free. right. I have Paramount Plus. Yeah. My mother and I are splitting the bill three dollars and ninety nine cents a month. For the very basic you, one, you make her pay cash. <laughs> she took that money from your I, mom. I, 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 oh pay for, I pay for that, and she pays for Netflix, and we split that. Oh my gosh! Okay. We do we do Netflix, we do Hulu, which yeah. also gives us uh, Disney Plus and ESPN mm. Plus. Uh, mm. We do uh, HBO Max or Max now, as it's called which I get for free because I'm an AT&T subscriber. Okay. Uh, let me see here. What else do I do we subscribe to? Um, I can't remember now. Are you paying more than when you had uh, the regular cable? No. 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 Yeah. I, I'm, I'm using... I'm paying uh, 90 bucks a month for cable for the internet because I'm getting fast internet because I need it for this, okay? Mm -hmm. um, and, and so consequently, I, I, I get this and I'm fine. Well, uh, you wouldn't need that fast the internet if your computer was as fast as mine. <laughs> no, it has nothing to do with that. It has nothing to do with that. Do you wanna hear about, do you wanna hear about charges? You know the stupid hotel, well, all these yeah. stupid hotels, with the airplane taken off. Oh, is she getting in the mini bar? <laughs> no, there's no mini bars anymore here. But you know what they wanted? They wanted forty-seven dollars a day to park at the hotel. Holy shit! What? Really? Forty-seven dollars <laughs> for your car staying at their hotel. Is there a parking so lot in there? Is, are there parking spaces yeah, in their hotel? Yeah, yeah, it's all parking out here, and they charge you. So, so luckily, I got some. I got some uh, communication through Expedia from this hotel and it said that if you self park is $47, but then they said complimentary. And I said, why did they tell me the price? And they said complimentary. So whatever. So I got the manager when I, when I, um, when I registered in to the hotel and I showed him that, that, that communication and he goes, okay, good. It's complimentary. But everything else was telling me I had to pay. If you want to pay ahead of time, it's this, if you want to pay ahead of time, it's 47. And I'm like, how how stupid. We remember back in the day you go to a hotel and you stay in the parking lot. Where else are you gonna stay? Where else are you gonna park? Now they just charge for everything. Are they charging for mm -hmm. ice? Kind of like the rental car business has been doing for years. Are they charging no, for ice? Now? Ice is still ice is still free. Really? Well, right now. There, uh, there's a resort fee at a lot of these hotels that you oh, know, yeah. pay a daily fee to get the newspaper. Oh, get a pool, yeah. Use and, the pool. Yeah. And Alex, I thought of you today because we went downtown to the gas lamp district, which is terrible now. It's a lot of homeless and, and just oh, a bunch of kids. But they had they had the the park, you know, the, the, the parking in the front of the store, they had it all blocked off for eating. And oh, so when you go downtown, it's all eating in the parking spots on the street. 
and they've been there since COVID probably, and they still have them there. So they've increased their cap their capacity, and then they have a four percent charge for restaurants downtown. Yeah. Wow. Uh, it, uh, cost of is looking cost better. of COVID. Where they make they're still making all this money off of COVID because they have extra seating for their place. Denny's is looking better. I'll look up the address for you. Get the grand slam. Yeah, I mean it, it. It well, it's getting ridiculous all the way around. But when we get getting back to just these uh, these uh, uh, services, uh, yeah. be careful how you buy them. You know, you yep. may find that you can. Uh, for instance, I get uh, I get my Max for free because I get it through AT and T. My subscription to AT and T. And what else? And then uh, I get Disney Plus and the ESPN Plus because I subscribe to Hulu, and I get have Hulu, um, Hulu. Uh, what do you call it? With the with the, you know, where I get all the channels and everything like that. Oh, know. Hulu Plus. The, Hulu the Plus. Hulu yeah, with Hulu Plus, you get the whole Disney package at no extra cost. So the, you can somehow get a lot of these things without having to pay for them. Yeah. Uh, you know. That's good to know. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, I there, just don't have the time to watch even what's on on one of them. Tell me about it. Well, you know, and so like, I just don't subscribe to all these other ones. And it's great that you're actually subscribing and using them. I, now, I would, I wouldn't uh, use. Them. I got the email, uh, the Gabnet uh, subscription. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, five dollars a right? week for you. <laughs> yeah, imagine it. You know, you 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 get a uh, thousand. Uh, you got five thousand Facebook. You got a thousand thirteen hundred people on YouTube. If you got uh, you know a buck a piece, uh, you know. Yeah, you, sure, you, sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they, they call. They have these guys on YouTube. As much as I they, hate YouTube, that's another thing I subscribe to. I subscribe to the eleven dollar package for no commercials that on YouTube. That's the best deal. That's the best deal ever. Well, the reason is, is that I got so tired of having to see a commercial before I watch something, that I prefer not to. And right. I got to tell you, I watch so much YouTube Me that too. it's worth every penny. And I hate to say that because I hate them. I hate them. I, I, I bought a car that is very, it's very, it's not intuitive. It's not, it's a hundred year old car. Oh, here we and, go again with the hundred year old. And uh, in order to drive it, I had to watch YouTube to yeah. figure out how to drive it because they trailered it to my store. And the, where you think the accelerator pedal is, that's the brake. The middle pedal, that's not the brake, that's reverse. And the pedal on the left, that's low gear, and uh, and the accelerators on the steering wheel. So I actually had There's to. There's a good watch... chance, ladies and gentlemen, that Phil may kill himself. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I drove it today. It, it, it was um, it, it was uh, you know taking your heart and your hat in your hand there. What kind of car is it? It's a Model T, 1923. Oh boy, I heard of that. It's, he bought it for ten thousand, but it's worth how much, uh, Brian? Probably twenty. It was a frame off restoration. It's probably worth twenty. They they don't have a lot of value. It probably cost the guy forty to restore it. Doesn't it. matter how much it costs him to restore it. I know. That's why I bought it for ten. You know, it's it's worth what it's worth. Uh, so yeah. I don't I I don't get any commercials with YouTube because I use ad blocker for YouTube on my browser. No, but that's oh. on your browser. On your browser, I watch it, I it's watch called it. I, I, Ad Blocker. That's all one. I watch word. this on my TV set. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah. I don't have a flat screen in the house, so I know how old fashioned. If I can't stuff. watch something on my on my on my TV screens, I just don't watch it at all. You know. Okay. Okay. Uh, so there, you know. So there. So there. So there. So there. <laughs> But anyway, I mean, it just seems though they're they're it's costing us so much for everything, mm -hmm. and and people, I think at some point a lot of these streaming services are going to go out of business, because I mean, what? Why do I need the Discovery Channel? You know, why do I need uh, the this channel, that channel? I mean, you know what I hate, Alex? Mm -hmm. I, I read an article. Let's say it's in the Wall Street mm -hmm. Journal. Oh, no, I know what you're saying. They, they make you pay for it. So you read three articles, and then they want to charge they want to you. Pay a for it. Then yeah. you want yeah, to read more and got to pay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, everybody so, wants money from you. 
Yep. Right. Mm-hmm. Cable company recently did something different. Comcast Xfinity. So now my bill has got another nine dollars on it for the sports channels, and I don't watch sports. Right. And I'm like, I might. I I told them take it off. I don't watch it. No, it's an automatic thing. All our customers, the FCC said it's okay to charge you. I'm like, really? See, <laughs> really? I mean, what the? So they're going to leave it on there. Well, you know, it used to be for years, and it still is true. Do you mm. know what the highest paid channel is that you're paying for, that you are Walmart paying for? No. A lifetime. 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 Hmm? My mother loved that channel. Yeah, but, I, but I never watched it. Oh, I, I never watched what, what it. What channel? I'm sorry. I got talked over. Do, do you know how much my cable system charges you because uh, they, they have to give it over? No, $9 a month. Nine. For a lifetime. All the rest are cheap because they want to be on a system somewhere, you know, just so they can get their commercials watched. Do you think they pay for QVC? I, I don't know, but you know, you get free delivery, so you know, <laughs> doesn't matter. But I mean, I, 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 it's amazing. It's just amazing. Uh, but it, it's amazing that all these companies now are. All of a sudden, Netflix does well, and every one of them wants the same model. Right. And so all of them join in and start the same model, and all of them are mm-hmm. going to completely go broke because people are not going to be able to subscribe to all of them. You remember when Netflix first came out, you, you got f- uh, four or five discs, and well, uh, then when you sent those CDs back, or, uh, DVDs back. Netflix rentals, yeah. They let you, they yeah, let but you that, that, was, that was the old, that was the old yeah. Netflix. Before then they, streaming. Then they added yeah. Netflix streaming, and right. they started charging you for the streaming. And then that right. kind of evolved into what it is now. Uh, and that's why and they the were able to develop that away. model. What were we, we saying, Charlie? Out. The discs are going away in September. Yes. They will no longer send you discs on DVD. Right. Yes. Yeah. Well, well, you know, I mean, what's what? I don't think there's much business for it, is there? What What was the? I used it. I've used it for twenty years. Hmm. Yeah, I'll go to Blockbuster and get my discs. Yeah. Right. Bargain. Yeah. Right. Good luck. With well, that. I mean, who buys discs anymore? Really, to be yeah, honest. I started buying them again. Yeah, I'll come to this. Yeah. Look at how many. Well, you, you don't can't see it here. Yeah, right? this, I'm starting and, and, and your DVD player, you know. I want to have, put a little watch without the, uh, we'll hold this up the backside. Sorry. Mm-hmm. You know, Tony says he's back. buying discs now. Yeah. This is the guy that pays money for used comic books. Well, I'm, I'm buying old TV shows again, Alex. You know why? I'm always tired of, like, I'm on Amazon. I'd rather watch what I want to watch and always have to pay for it and have the seasons now. I bought the. Uh, Complete first season of uh, The Fugitive. I started watching that. How much did that have, cost? I have all of I Love Lucy on DVD. I'm done watching it. You I like it? popping it in and watching what I want when I want to watch it. Now I, I know it. who to send it to. Why don't you guys exchange DVDs? Oh, you want to? Oh, I did that. <laughs> never got know. back a bunch, so I don't know. <laughs> well, uh, Alan I want has to get rid of these. these. You know, he's got he's got the blockbuster uh, mentality. He charges late fees when he when he. Remember, What's what's happened to me now is I have to pay for Amazon now because before I was in on Shecky's account. Uh, Did you hear they're stopping all of that shared account now? No, that's on on Netflix. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Netflix. Oh, Costco. Costco is stopping it too. Costco. Who? Costco. Well, yeah. What, I can't have my wife uh, on my account? account anyway. I don't know. So. Not for long. Hey, wait, I'm playing the theme, by the way. Oh, we heard it. Yeah. Oh, you man. You tell Alex about your weightlifting, Phil. <laughs> he knows. He's like, baby. Yeah, nobody started yelling at Phil during this show. How, how strange. Oh, wow. Wow. Well, anyway, have a good time tomorrow night beating up on the old guys, Phil. Let him win, for God's sake. Thank <laughs> you for on. calling. Uh, uh, Jeff, thank you for being here with us tonight. Charlie, always a pleasure to have you here. Uh, I, I wish I could say the same about Phil, but you know. I, uh, <laughs> also, thank you very much to uh, Alan and uh, and, and to uh, 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 Tony. Hey, Tony, good having you hey. here. Yes. I'll call you tomorrow. I'll tell you something. I was watching a good TV show. I'll tell you. Oh, okay, well, call me tomorrow. Tell me a good TV show you're watching. And Rocky. also, Brian, thank you. And uh, good luck with your daughter. I hope she wins yeah. tonight. Yeah. Yeah. So 
They did, they'll do good. They did really good today. So Okay, everybody, give a big wave goodbye. I'll give a big wave goodbye at you. And there they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our citizen panel for tonight. There's another one coming right up with Jack Bishop and the intersection. He'll be doing it on Skype at GabNet Live. I'll see you again tomorrow night right here, same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Good night, everybody.